Welcome to Linux Help. Today we are going to see how to install Agent T control panel on Debian 11.3. The Agent T 2 control panel is an open source web based program that can be used for managing servers in a variety of ways. You can install packages and run commands and view server information such as RAM usage, free disk space and etc. A web browser can be used to access all of this information. Optionally, an add-on package is called Agent V allows you to handle multiple websites from the same control panel. First, I will check the OS version. I am user Debian version 11. Next, now I am going to add a new user to the system by using following commands. Add user. Username. Enter the user password. I can enter the retype user password. The enter the new value or press the enter to default. I have to move to default. After add the new user, next go to create a group for the user. Next, now I am going to download the agent installation script file by using cal command. After install the agent service, next now I am going to start the service by using system CTL command. Next check the agent service by running status using system CTL command. Service has been active state. Agent can be run for the verbose debug mode. After complete the all installation steps, next go to the browser. And browse the IP address. and enter the default port number for 8000 you can enter for the login details first enter for the username and enter the password then login This is the dashboard page for the Ajanti service. Next, you can install the plugins once inside of the dashboard, evaluate to the root user. If you are a regular user, to be able to install plugins. So this is for the plugin dashboard. The plugin dashboard we need for the super user access record. So we have successfully installed the Ajanti on Debian version 11.3. So with this the process you can follow for the how to install agency server on Debian version 11.3 has been completed. Thank you for watching this video and if you like it please subscribe to our channel.
To learn more tutorials, visit www.linuxhelp.com and if you have any queries, mail us to support at linuxhelp.com.